I touched on the importance of asset managers keeping up with the pace of technology and innovation earlier. At UOBAM, we are taking our step forward with a new digital advisory service called UOBM Invest. I'd start off by saying we're bullish for 2018. We have enough global growth, we have enough corporate earnings around the world that should generate returns for equities, at least in the high single digit range. We've been constantly reminded to start early, stay invested, but the question is, what do we invest in? In terms of society, we are older society, that means our competitiveness, creativity, other innovation will be less so compared to, let's say, other younger societies. So that would have implication on our returns and the type of investments that we have to uh, plan. <laughs> Mike Tyson always says, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And I think the global financial crisis was that punch in the face, effectively. We've been in a negative real return world since the GFC. The other interesting point is life expectancy. Since World War II, every decade, life expectancy has risen by about three years per decade. The projection is a 400 trillion shortfall in retirement savings. We don't spend enough time thinking about a certainty in our life. And that certainty is that all of us in this room are going to retire one day. Like it or not, that day will come. We didn't ask the question then, do we have sufficient to retire? We did some research where we looked at S&P 500 returns going back to 1930. The return of the 95-85 hypothetical portfolio was 4x the market return. And I think that really speaks to the importance of downside risk mitigation. Could you give us your top-down fixed income or structured investment point of view about where you think things are going? We're going to see a rising yields environment in the first half. On the back of stronger growth, investors are worried about inflation start to rise again or even going above the central bank's target. And if you look at a 60-40 portfolio, over the last 15 years, has given you about 7% annualized return, 10% fall, which is respectable. But the question then is, going forward for the next 15 years, are you able to get 7%? I doubt so. It is becoming more and more challenging to get to that return target. But I think that's the job of the investment professional. And if you can't, then you might as well lower the target. But we believe that over a full cycle, that 7 to 8% number, it is still realistic and achievable. And then we look at how the whole banking is evolving. We created this sector solution whereby we are engaging customers today from a sector perspective, from a value chain perspective. How are they thinking in the world of data and in the world of technology? These are two very big things that everybody seems to be overwhelmed. But when the tyre hits the, the road, it is really nothing more than trying to intuitively think what we are doing today by using data and technology uh, to enable that. We ourselves, through our flagship Obsolute Return Fund, have generated the second best calendar year return ever in the 10-year history. So we have done this, we have executed on the strategy of having defensiveness in the portfolio, but not sacrificing an ability to capture returns when the opportunity presents itself. The last two quarters, third and fourth quarter of 2017, you saw modest gains. So you're beginning to see an upturn here. I think we'll see as long as the transaction volumes continue to be strong, this to continue in 2018. In the robo-revolution, I think it'll change shape a little bit. The players are going to move around, but it's absolutely here to stay. I think the key takeaway was how difficult and how big a challenge it is going to be ahead for uh, retirement planning and how a, a disciplined approach, both in terms of the investment side and also the planning side, is required to deal with the challenges ahead for the world and, and for Singaporeans more broadly. We need to plan for retirement early and to stay invested. We have to think about having multiple income streams to fund our retirement and to meet our needs at once. I think it was great because we covered a lot of space and there were very good nuggets that came out of it. From talking about robo-advisors to alternative investments, which I believe should be a core part of anybody's portfolio, especially at this stage of the cycle. Well, I keep looking at the lucky clubs. So 
kind of remem remind me of the, the weather that we have in Singapore. It's very cloudy days, rains, and even you know floods. I think that draw comparison to market that potentially in the short term, higher volatility, some corrections in the assets market. But there's silver lining behind the clouds. Things will probably going to improve better in the second half. Uh, rates may start to come down. Asset market will start to perform again.